We can apply playback filters on a fader by fader basis, which will allow only specific data to be played back. We can filter by channel, parameter, effect, and target. Playback filters do not impact how data is stored. Let's first take a look at how to filter our faders by channel. Let's go to snapshot one, and I'm going to add a tab and open our fader configuration screen. If you're not on the third page, go ahead and scroll down to there. I'm going to touch this box on our playlist fader that we created. And over on the right hand side, you'll see channel filter and parameter filter. For right now, let's touch channel filter. And you see on our command line, we can now enter in any number of channels or groups. I'm gonna go ahead and say group five, enter. And that will be displayed in the box there. And then touch out of there. I'm gonna hop back into live. And now when I push that third fader button, this is only going to affect group five and have no effect on the psych or any other channels that would have otherwise been affected. Going back into fader config, here I'm going to copy our manual timing master to another fader. We'll just make a copy of it. I need to clear my command line, hit fader three slash five, because I know that's where it's located, copy to three slash four, enter. And all I've done here is duplicate that fader onto fader four. Now what I want to do is give them each different filters so they will behave differently. So on our fourth fader, I'm going to filter by parameter. And here I can filter by category or by individual parameter. I want this one to only control intensity. So I'm just gonna touch intensity up at the top here. Close out of there. And on our fifth fader, our other manual timing master, I want to filter all other parameters. So I'll touch focus color, form, image, and shutter. And we'll close those out. Let's go ahead and recall snapshot four again. Now I'm going to put my intensity timing master all the way to zero and my non-intensity timing master all the way to full, which is five seconds. From here, we could type group three through four, yellow, which will fade because my non-intensity is all the way up at 50, enter, and intensity is going to snap because that fader is all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and switch those faders. I'll put intensity up to five and non-intensity down to zero. Now, if I say at full enter, those will slowly fade. And if I touch dark blue, they'll snap to that color. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my intensity one down to zero also. Next, let's go to Q37.3. Here we have three separate effects running. In their current state, our global effects faders would change the state of all of the running effects. So for example, if I push my rate fader up, everything's going to get faster. And if I pull it down, everything's going to slow down. I'll put that back at 100. I can also filter by effect. So I'm going to use the filter button above the rate wheel. I'm gonna hold that down and press my load button on the 10th fader. You'll see our command line is populated with fader three slash 10 filter. Now I'm going to type in effect three enter. This means that only effect three will be changed when I move that fader now. So now if I push it up, you'll see I'm increasing the size of that color effect. However, my two focus effects are not changed. I can pull that down, make that color size effect much smaller. I could also filter my rate master in the same way. For right now, I'm going to press clear, sneak, enter, and reset my faders using my macro direct select. Go ahead and press go. We're gonna go into our blackout and go one more time into Q101. To remove filters, we can do that one of two ways. We can hold our filter button, press our load key. This time I did fader 10 again, and press enter. That will remove any filters on the fader. We can also go to our fader configuration window. So I'll call snapshot one, 
and open a new tab with fader config. I'll scroll down here. Faders that are filtered are indicated by gray boxes on top of that parameter type. To clear the filters on fader three, we can click that and hit that red X to clear that fader. On our manual time, we can clear our parameter filter there and let's clear our other one here. Let's go back into live. Playback filters are a really quick way to change what your faders are outputting without having to change their content. Let's bring back Snapshot 4. So in this queue, I could hold down filter, touch my first load button, grab my whole psych, hit 22. And now when I bring that fader up, it's only going to change the psych. Then I can hold down filter again, press that same load button. This time I'm gonna to touch front of house movers. And now that fader will only change the colors of those fixtures. As you can see, there are a lot of options for using faders. Check them out and see which ones you like best.